in this session we are going to create our own chat gpt like chatbot in fact this chatbot is going to use chat gpt but in the background we are going to use streamlit which is a framework to create and deploy machine learning applications as a web application you may ask is this really needed after all we have chat gpt the issue we are trying to address is data privacy when you prompt your query in chat gpt that prompt forms part of their future training data always remember this so it makes sense to have your own chatbot that your employees can use without fear of data privacy issues here we are trying to create a web application that can write blocks for us so we need to get an api key from open ai that key will be used in our python program so how do we get an api key we go to openai.com we click login and sign in using our email id once we log in we see three options click api now choose your account at the top right corner click view api keys you can create the key using create new secret key option you can copy that key and use it i have blackened the keys for security purposes as far as coding is concerned as i said earlier we will use streamlit we first start by importing the necessary libraries we will paste the key that we copied earlier in this particular block of code let us define the main function that will run the streamlit application markdown displays the title of the app sidebar provides information about the tool in the sidebar sidebar dot select box creates a drop down menu in the sidebar for the user to select between generating topics generating sections or generating content if then else basically calls the appropriate function based on the user selection we have three options first is block topic generation next is block section generation and finally block content generation code is nearly the same for all three options block topics prompt defines a function to generate block topics using open ai open ai dot completion dot create sends a request to open ai to generate text based on prompt written response dot choices returns the generated text define topics that you see here define section define section and define content for the other two options are basically functions that define the interactive part of the streamlit application for each step of the blog writing process they provide a text area for the user to enter a prompt and a button to send the prompt to the respective generating function finally let us see the options to tune the model i have highlighted the parameters that can be tuned tuning influences the behavior and performance of text generation models max tokens controls the maximum number of tokens in the generated text a lower value may result in more concise text while a higher value may produce more verbose text top p refers to the cumulative probability cutoff for sampling the next token a lower value like 0.1 means only the top 10% most probable tokens are considered while a value of 0.9 includes 90% of the token probability mass frequency penalty penalizes tokens that are generated frequently which can help reduce repetition presence penalty penalizes new tokens that haven't appeared before which can encourage the model to reuse existing tokens the choice of the engine will affect how the model generates text based on the prompt the temperature parameter in the context of neural network based text generation such as chat gpt controls the randomness of the output generated by the model 
it is a hyperparameter that affects the probability distribution over the tokens when sampling the next token in a sequence. A lower temperature value such as 0.1 to 0.5 makes the model's output more deterministic, meaning the model is more likely to pick the most probable word at each step resulting in more focused and coherent text. A temperature value of 1 means no scaling is applied and the original logics are used for sampling. This generates a balance between randomness and determinism. A higher temperature value such as 1.5 to 2 makes the model's output more random, meaning the model is more likely to pick less probable words resulting in more creative but potentially less coherent or sensible text. In the given code, we have used a temperature of 0.7. It means the output will lean towards being more focused and deterministic compared to a temperature of say 1, but with a slight level of randomness to potentially generate more creative or varied text. I am ready to execute this .py file. I will execute the file from Anaconda prompt. Let's go to start menu, choose Anaconda prompt. Let's open this. We will first change the directory reference cd desktop cd streamlit. The file is stored in streamlit folder that is there in my desktop which is why I did this. Let us execute the code streamlit run llm app is the dot py is the name of the file and I click enter. The file has been executed and we have the application in front of us. So these are the three options. I can create topic, I can create a section, I can create content. I can input my query and I can generate a blog without any worry of data privacy issues. Now let us see if the tool is working well. We will prompt to generate a blog topic on data science with Python. Let's click send or enter and see if it generates the block topic. Yes, it has generated. Let's press send once again and see if it generates another block topic. It has generated this time the top five libraries for data science. We created block topic earlier. Now let us create block section. My prompt is how to use pandas for data analysis and I want block sections to be created. In the drop down menu, I am chosen section. So let's click enter and see the response. Yes, it is generated. If you see, I did not use the words block section in my prompt. Block section has been generated based on the choice I made in the drop down menu. A little earlier, while discussing about the code for the streamlit application, I mentioned about the parameters that can be changed. When I say we can change the parameter, I am referring to the tuning process. You can change the temperature and other parameters depending on the kind of output you want. That kind of flexibility, that level of flexibility is there only when you go for custom application. 